everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing, and today we're going to be taking a look at Roland Wright the Dice Game, Deluxe Edition. Keep that in mind as we take a look at the components. Depending on what edition you have, you may see something that's slightly different. So, Roland Wrights are a big, big trend in board gaming right now, and this is certainly playing off that with Roland Wright there. A strategy dice game about making a strategy dice game. Very, very meta. Play as a game designer named Roland Wright in this Roland Wright game. Color in bits on your board. No? Yes. Uh, to score points in many ways and use actions and equipment to speed up the process to qualify for game design awards. All right, one to five players in about 25 minutes. Let's take a look inside the box of Roland Wright. The dice game. I'm trying to do this. This kind of has a book feel to it. And it's got a magnetic enclosure or clasp there. Here's our rule book. The object of the game. Each turn, choose from a pool of dice and color in matching dots called bits on your player board. Earn points, points by creating patterns with bits and by filling your bit box in multiple ways. At the end of the game, the player with the most points wins. It's got your setup for two to five players here. Your game turn, the active player rolls dice and groups them by color. All players may place bits using the matching dry erase pen, fill in empty spaces in the bit box on your player board according to one dice groups. All players may perform one action. All right. And it gives some examples of placing bits. Your different actions, copy and connect a bit, move any other bit, change this bit's color, draw three hallmark cards, keep one, draw three equipment, equipment cards, keep one, draw one research and development card. All right, and it's got examples of card completion there. The development chart, the game end and scoring, and an award clarification. Also, we've got an example of scoring there. Rules intermission. Now we've got the solo game here, which is some different aspects to the game, as you might expect. All right. Let's take a look and see what else we have inside this box. Looks like a place uh, to keep your cards, the Hallmark cards, the equipment cards, and the research and development cards. All right, some different boards here. I'm assuming places to keep dice, perhaps. And then individual player boards here, where it tells you the actions, the development chart. They're double-sided. All right. I think you get the idea on those. And then we've got some nice, chunky, recessed, embossed dice there. They're very satisfying to roll. I rolled a lot of greens. Look at that. Four greens, a blue, and a purple. I don't know if that's good or not. I'm going to say it's good. I don't know. We've got a what looks to be a first player. Oh, it's, a, it's an eraser. It's a dry eraser eraser. That's clever. There you go. Okay. A, what appears to be thimble? Metal thimble? So maybe this is the first player marker, or I'm not sure what it is. It also looks like it acts as an eraser. All right. Maybe it's a dunce cap. I don't know. Okay. It's metal, though, or some type of metal. And we've got a little mini expansion here again, which may or may not be in the copy of the game you have. Some customized dry erase markers in the different colors. And a couple of decks of cards. So let's take a quick look at those decks of cards. See what those will reveal to us. All right, so these are some research and development cards here. It's like a red bit or two points, perhaps. Orange, green, blue, purple, green and yellow. So different 
city buildings, globe. These look to be ways you can achieve points. For each connected set of purple and blue, you'd get a point. All right. Hot dog. I do like the art and the kind of the retro art deco appeal here we've got. Some awards, most passion, most synergy, most creativity, most elegance, most hallmarks. You get the idea there, I think. Sets of all six colors in your bit box. Completed pattern still in the bit box at the end. All right, so there's one deck of cards for us. Take a look at the other deck of cards here. The sewing machine. Choose two bits with exactly one empty space in between them. Place a bit matching either color in between. Okay. Water well, the hammer. Well, different ways of placing bits out on your board, it looks like. Or maybe manipulating. Yeah, it looks like ways of placing bits or manipulating bits. Splendid fun. Complete balance. Short playing time. Okay. Mitigated luck. Nicely scalable, novel mechanics. So these are all things you're looking for as a game designer. Compelling artwork, smooth game flow, easily teachable. Sorry, there we go, we we're losing focus there. Calibrated dice, close scores, harmonious gameplay. All right, well, I think that gives us a pretty good idea on what's in this Roll and Write game that is cleverly called Roll and Write, the dice game. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.